All right, today we are gonna be looking at setting up VRRP on extreme switches. Um, I don't think uh, extreme on their uh, Summit series usually usually uses VRRP anymore. Um, I think they use VOS mostly for their routing, but in the case, in the event that you do have to set up VRRP on extreme switches like the Summits, um, this will be how to do it. Um, as you can see, we have this already running on our two switches. Our environment is we have two top switches that we have a VRP running on, switch one and switch two. Switch three is going to be just, you know, like a down downlink switch. Um, and then we have a computer set up here. Um, you can see right here, we can ping out through, uh, we're hitting 10.10.10.254, that is our VRRP address that we are sharing between uh, switch one and switch two. Um, and then down here in the bottom left on switch three, we can enable uh, port three and we can disable port two and we don't lose any pings at all. It's everything's still working. Um, so we'll blow all this away. We'll uh, just factory default all this stuff and we will uh, start from scratch as always and show you how we work through this. So I'll uh, pause this video and once we come back everything will be defaulted and we'll... Alright, we got these switches defaulted. Um, we'll just get logged in here just so we are all ready on all of them. All right, so we're going to start up here on switch one. This will be this guy up here. Um, we're going to be using port one, our link in between to switch two. Uh, we'll set up a, uh, a ISC interface in between there, which is just basically like an interface that you can talk to, talk between the two switches. Um, we're just going to have that be a set, a set out as a slash 30. VRP, you don't really need it for VRP, uh, it's mostly for MLAG stuff, but I always add it in there just so it's there in case uh, you want to switch. Um, so we will create that first, VN ISC tag 2, I'll just give it a tag of 2, I mean you can use whatever tag you want uh, as long as it's not a VLAN tag that you're going to be using. Uh, then we will create our VLAN, we'll just say VLAN 10. And then we will configure our VLAN for the ISC ports one tagged. And then we need to configure VLAN ICS, the IP address for the ISC interface. And we'll just use 20, 20.20.20.1. Actually, we'll just do slash 30. So it'll be small, and then we need to do a create the VLAN for VLAN 10, which will be what we'll be using the RP for. We already created VLAN 10 up here, so let's create the route interface. 10 IP address 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 .10 255.255.255.0. We'll enable IP forwarding on that as well. Then we need to set up the VRP. So to actually do that, we need to create the VRP instance, and then we need to assign that or assign the VLAN in there, and we're going to have that be instance one. So we have that set up, and then we need to configure it. So configure VRP. Use your VLAN, and then your instance. We're going to make uh, priority 200. This will be our master switch, so that's why we're going to set that to priority 200. Um, the higher priority is going to be your master, so anything lower. So our next one will probably be uh, defaulted to 100. Uh, that way it'll be the backup one. Then configure VRP, VLAN. In. We need to add the interface, the VRP instance or interface, which they will share. So 
we'll just name that 254. So it's created, that's of our virtual interface. And then our last thing we need to do is VLAN 10 VRID enable it. So it'll say it's, it'll be enabled when it, it becomes active. So that is good to go there. Now we need to move on to switch two. We'll do the same thing here, create VLAN. We'll show this just so it's up kind of see what we're doing. Okay, so here's all what we typed in on switch one. Um, and then the VRP stuff was down below, but I'll just have this up here for right now. So just so you can see it. Create VLAN, ICS. Oh, I didn't do the tag. Tag two, already in use. Show, I might have to delete it. Just configure it. Configure VLAN ICS tag two. So in case you get to that mistake where you don't actually set the tag, um, just change your uh, create create command to configure VLAN, and then you can assign your tag back to uh, whatever you need to. And then we need to create VLAN 10. So as you can see here, like if we if we just say you know, our tag is this, it's going to just automatically put whatever our VLAN is, it's going to make their tag, you know, VLAN 10. So that's what it will do. So since we didn't actually assign a number here, um, it didn't have anything originally. So that's why you had to put a tag in after that as well. So, all right, got a VLAN ICS and we have our VLAN 10. Now let's create the routed interface. Figure V on ICS IP address 2020.2 slash 30. And then let's do configure VLAN 10 IP address 10.10.10.2. And this was a slash 24. And then we also need to enable IP forwarding on VLAN 10. And then we also have to create the VRP for our second switch. Create VRP VLAN 10 VR ID for the instance. Configure RP VLAN 10 VLID 1 add 10.10.10.254. Okay, and then just enable it. VLAN. 10, we read one. Okay, now the last thing we didn't do was um, egress these VLANs out. So let's just egress those guys out of port one and then port two and three. So on switch one, we'll say configure VLAN uh, ICS add ports one tagged. And then we'll do the same for VLAN 10. We'll just come down here, switch to, and do the same thing uh, with this guy just to make sure that they can ping across. Ports one tagged. VLAN 10. Add ports one tagged. All right, so now we should be able to ping over to. 10.10.10.1, and we can, 20.20.20.1, and we can ping over there too. So our routing in between switch one and switch two is up and working. Now we need to make sure uh, these links down here to switch three are set up and working. So while we're up here in switch one, we'll just configure that right now. So let's do configure VLAN 10 add ports two tagged. Because we're using port two to go down to switch three. And then on switch two, we are using port three. So let's do configure VLAN 10 add ports three tagged. All right, so we should be done with switch one and switch two now. Let's configure switch three. Oh, we can do a show VRP. 
Joe VRP. Okay, so once these initialize and they get set up, you'll see that the state, this one is set up as the master. See the priority is set to 200. Its virtual IP addresses are 10.10.10.254, our master, our state is our master right there. And then we can also see down here in switch two, the priority is set to 100. Remember, we did not set a priority on switch two. We just left it alone, so that's a priority of it. Um, virtual IP address is what it should be, 10.10.10.254. It is in a backup state. And you'll also notice as well that the MAC address is the same. So something to be aware of as well when you're working with VRP, that MAC address is gonna be the same. It's shared between the two, uh, the two switches. So we are good there. Let's go to switch three, create our VLAN. We'll configure VLAN 10, VLAN 10 and ports 2 and 3, since we are using port 2 and 3 going up to switch 1 and 2, tag them, configure VLAN 10 IP address, we'll just give it an IP address as well, just so we can ping through that. Or this up here, we're getting errors because GNS3 is kind of freaking out. <clears throat> it's nothing that's anything that uh, VRP is doing. Um, I've had this happen before within GNS3. Um, the process just kind of gets overloaded and it doesn't know what to do, so it just kind of spazzes out. So we might have to rebuild this, but... Uh... All right. We are back up and going here now. Um, so we will set up the interface between this fake computer here and switch three. So that will be configure VLAN 10 add ports for untagged. And now if we go to our uh, switch up here, or sorry, not our switch, our little PC, show IP. Um, we have an IP address set. We have our gateway set to 254. So we should be able to ping to 254. So it's hitting it. It's getting through. So if we come down here and we say disable port it should kick off and get going. It's failing for some odd reason. When I've, when I've looked in this before, um, the like fake switch that you are using for this PC here, um, sometimes it kind of freaks out because it doesn't know where, it, where to go within it, but within an actual environment, um, it should be fine. Uh, I, I don't have those switches here, uh, the physical ones, so you'll just have to try it, make sure it works, but everything should be good to go when you actually try it uh, in production. So we can enable port two, and then we can disable port three. We might lose a ping up here. Doesn't look like we've lost anything, so that would pretty much uh, simulate a, a failed state on on one of your routers. Uh, we can also um, port three. We can also uh, save the config here, and then we can do a reboot on one of these switches and just show you um, what happens here. So we lose a ping or two, and then it should come back, and it should come back up on switch two. So if we do show VRP, now it's showing that it is a master instead of the backup. Um, you can also do a show VRP details. V details. Um, it'll kind of give you a little bit more information, give you the state that it's in. Um, a lot of this tracking VLANs and stuff, uh, it doesn't really look like you can change that anymore in uh, XOS 32 dot whatever. Um, back when it was, you know, 
24 dot whatever, 28 dot whatever, some of these commands you were able to actually change the tracking mode um, and all that. You can actually turn on fabric routing. Um, that is still available in the 32 dot code. Um, but a lot of this other stuff I have not found that you can actually um, modify any of these other settings. They're just kind of set. So this switch is back up. Show VRP. You can see it is still stuck at a, a uh, backup state because um, the switch is, or switch two is still acting as the primary. We can do a reboot on this guy. We'll lose a couple pings here on our PC, um, but the switch one should take over. And we should get back to being able to ping out again. So it did take a little bit. Um, once it flipped over to the master state, uh, we started pinging again from our PC. Switch 2 is still in a rebooting state. It's still not up. So switch 1 is still the primary, and it's pinging out. So that is a quick down and dirty uh, little walkthrough of how to set up a VRP on an extreme switch. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, give it a like, give it a subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll be back for more. Thank you.